Hey guys, Wally here. Thought I'd show you how to make a fading transparent spray for Counter-Strike Source. First you're going to need to make sure you have Photoshop. I'm using CS5, VTF Edit, and VPK Tool. The links will be in the description. Go ahead and open up Photoshop. Get your two pictures open that you want. I've got Waldo and Odla. You're going to go ahead and make a new project. Name it Away or whatever you want. Going to go 256 by 256. We're going to go ahead and make that background color 117 all the way down here. That's going to give us this gray to make it transparent. Go ahead and get the picture that you want as your far away picture. Let's go ahead and do Wally. Control C while you have them selected. Go ahead and put them on your new project. Let's go ahead and free transform. Make sure that he's bigger here so that we can see him good. There we go. Go ahead and apply. All right, there he is. So now what we're going to want to do is go ahead, select the background, and make sure that we go inverse so that we've got him. Come over here. Let's go ahead and flatten our image, make sure he's on there. Go ahead over to your channels. Go ahead and create an alpha channel. Make sure we can see this. He's all white. Alrighty. So there we go. Let's go ahead and save that. Save as a D3D slash DDS document format. DDS. Save. It's going to open up your format window. We want to make sure he's DXT5, 2D texture. We're going to want to generate MIP maps. Go ahead and save. We can close that now. Let's go ahead and open the one we just saved, our DDS document. There it is. Go ahead and open. It'll bring up this window. We're going to load using default sizes and load MIP maps. Okay. It's going to bring this up. The big one is going to be what you see when you're up close. These ones are what you see when you whack up. Let's go ahead and get rid of him here so we can put a new one in. Get our paintbrush. Go ahead and make sure it's the same gray. Get rid of him. Come over to our channels. We're going to want to fill that one in with black here. here to our other one. Select the background. Select the inverse. Now we've got him. Control C to copy. Let's grab him. Drag him up here. Plop him down. Let's go ahead and edit him again. Free transform. Make sure he's bigger. Try to get him centered so that it makes for a good switch here. Okay. Apply. Now we've got him. So let's go ahead and Control click on the layer and it automatically selects that layer. Let's go over to our channels. Go to our alpha channel and we've got that. Now we want to fill that in with white. That way it works. Let's switch this, make sure we got white and just fill in that. Okay, so now we've got him there. Control C to deselect or control D to deselect. And we're all set. Let's go ahead and save that as our new spray, whatever. We want to make sure we save that as a DDS again. Go ahead and save. Open this up again. We still want it to be the DXT5 2D texture, but this time we're going to use existing MIP maps. That way it doesn't create another set of fading again. We're going to save. Go ahead and minimize that, get it out of the way. Here is our new spray. Let's go ahead and open the VPK tool. Go to Texture Tools, Open File, go to our new DDS document, hit Open. 
and let's convert DDS to VTF. Puts it up here. We're all done with that. Done with that. Let's open our VTF edit. Right now we've got a VTF, but we need to have a VMT as well. So let's go tools, create VMT, base texture one. We're going to open up what we just made, our VTF, open. We're going to hit create into the desktop, save. All done with that. So now we've got our new VMT and our new VTF. Let's go ahead and open our CSS folder, program files, Steam, Steam apps, your name, Counter Strike source, CS Strike. Then we're going to go materials all the way down to the bottom, VGUI, logos. Go ahead and select those, put them in your folder. And you're all set. Now when you open up CSS, go multiplayer options, select your drop down menu and your new spray will be in there. Thank you guys. Tune in for next time.